What is up YouTube? I am back. Uh, Geek All Father here. Hi. Uh, long, massive hiatus from doing YouTube videos. Um, but don't worry about that. Anyway, uh, the point of this video is uh, it's a bit of more of a serious one. And the reason for that is uh, I've done a, a, a video about sleep apnea um, last year. Maybe the beginning of this year. Who knows? Um, kind of like an educational video on sleep apnea. I joined two sleep apnea Facebook groups. Uh, I posted my video up there and uh, it, you know, I got some questions for it. I got some some views and some people interested in what it was. But this is a little follow up video because what I did in, and I know this is like a month later, but uh, in August I went camping and uh, obviously having a machine plugged into a power source in a tent isn't always viable so what I did was I went trying to find a way to use my machine uh, when I'm not near a 240 volt power source uh, so this video is gonna be about one of the products I found and for me um, I've not tried the others but for me this is brilliant uh, so let me explain what it is. Firstly, I'll get you it. I'll show you it. And then you can probably tell. Look at that. That. Believe it or not, apart from looking like a grey brick, is a lithium ion battery. Uh, so, um, I think... The, the issue that some people might have, uh, and it's not just for people that go camping, uh, this will also solve your uh, problems if you wanna go abroad with your CPAP machine, um, but definitely for uh, any, any place where you don't have a 240 volt or equivalent plug-in wall power source, yeah? So this is, this is what I found. Now, I went directly through um, the company that do my um, my CPAP in the first place, uh, um, their CPAP battery is called the Power Station Two, uh, and it's four hundred and forty pounds. Uh, it's slimline, and it's uh, it's maybe a bit smaller than this. I've just noticed some dirty great cobwebs all over my stuff. Um, it's a bit slim, but four hundred pounds is a lot of money. So um, this. It's a different different kettle of fish. This was, um, if I'm not wrong, and let me just find out for you whilst I'm uh, here. There you go. So this is the Tracer. It's by a company called Tracer, lithium polymer. Tracer, 12 volt compact CPAP battery, and it is compact into the fact that it fits in your hand, uh, so that's nice. This one, was 139.99, and I got this off of um, eupap.com. I will, uh, they're basically calling it Inters Healthcare, um, but I will put the link for that in in my description if you want it. Um, however, um, 139.99 as opposed to 400 pounds, um, and with the ResMed battery. The, the actual battery was 400 and then the cable to make everything work was an extra 40 so that's where the 440 come from in this case you do have to get the equivalent um, 90 watt 12 volt charger for your um, for your CPAP machine and that depends on what brand you've got as I said mine is uh, ResMed and uh, so this 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 thing here which is a uh, 90 watt DC converter with a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter attachment with switch on it and the other side fits directly into my CPAP machine this was 90 pounds so there is a bit of an expense there but if you think about 400 pounds versus 140 and 90 you're still saving a bit of money um, this is the box that it came in tracer uh, on the sides there don't throw it in the bin obviously it's a battery it's not recyclable um, 8 amp hour battery pack 90 watt, 96 watt hours um, please read the instructions very carefully it's quite a simple thing to use 
um, and inside there was just uh, Intus Healthcare. You can't see that because of the light coming through the window. Intus Healthcare leaflet, um, some safety, and then a little booklet about the different um, Tracer battery models they do. And as I said, for going abroad, you've got some different plug types. So this is your Canadian, there's your American, um, European, sorry, uh, and there's your Canadian, the angled one. Uh, so you can pretty much go anywhere in the world with this, not suggesting that Canada and Europe are the only places in the world, but you will find that you've got a good um, good range of uh, outlet types. Uh, also in the pack is this, which is basically uh, a connector for that end of the machine there, it goes in there like that, yeah. Uh, and that's a female 12 volt cigarette light socket, which this plugs into like so, and you've got a switch there to turn it on. Happy days. Uh, oh, also in the box comes, uh, that is a 12 volt cigarette light charger cable with LED on it. Um, this will only trickle charge your machine. Uh, it won't fully charge it. And obviously in the box comes a DC charger um, to charge the battery from a socket, um, which is good because that's how you're gonna charge it. Now what I will say about this is this will give you one night's use of a CPAP machine, uh, one and a half nights if you're lucky per charge. But do you know what? Charging it every day is better than not being able to sleep at all and you guys should know what it feels like not to have your CPAP machine with you when you're sleeping. So this needs charging out of the box. Uh, it only takes about four hours, but once uh, it's completely dead, uh, it needs charging uh, before every use. Uh, there's a little LED indicator. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. You little. I ain't done no videos. I'm doing a video. No. Yeah. You're naughty. Can you know why? Do you know why? No. Because I put the invitation on the board. Yeah, but you took off all the nice stuff. No, I took off the you card. don't need to put the invitation the on our board. We don't need to put a card on the picture I've got. Yes, the card's it. nice. You're nasty. Go you're away. Bad. Go on. Get out. Love you. Love you. All right, so it's a little LED indicator there, and basically, not that you can see it because of the, uh, you might be able to see it. Yeah, there's um, two red lights and three green lights. Obviously, the green lights are good because they're going to say that it's charged up. Three green lights means it's fully charged. If it gets down to one red light, the manual suggests that it needs charging within the next 12 hours, 24 hours. If it gets down to one red light, you need to charge it immediately if you've if you've got no lights on it at all there was a chance that you've killed the battery uh, and it might not be able to recover because batteries nowadays have got memory um, so if you completely drain it and it's left undrained then there is some chance of you damaging the, the, the technology and it not being able to charge again or not work properly so you got to bear that in mind also if it's not being used for instance I don't go camping every week but if it's not being used just like any other battery what you should do is charge it every six months if it's not being used but if you are using it get one night's sleep out of it um, which is on average eight hours I think it will do 12 hours this is what I'm saying about one and a half hour, uh, night's sleep it'll do 12 hours on a charge um, but as soon as you wake up and you're mobile and you're about, charge it. And obviously with all of these little connections, if you are camping, uh, you can plug it into a generator if you've got that ability. You can plug it into your car, but bear in mind that it is only a trickle charge, as I said, and your car engine will need to be on. Um, so you'll need to be driving really, otherwise you're gonna destroy your car battery as well. And then you're gonna have to jumpstart your car and it's all a bit of a mess, but this is very much worth it. So. Um, if anyone's interested 
in asking some more questions about this. As I say, I'll put the link to this exact page on uh, on the description. I'll put a link to the General Inters Healthcare website where they do lots of CPAP accessories, etc. Um, but it is worth it if you're if you're going anywhere and you still want to be able to use your CPAP machine. And it's a bit of an investment, really, because um, you know, one two hundred and thirty quid. Um, 230 quid, 250 quid, sorry, uh, as opposed to 400 for this particular model. Um, they do a range of products, so this is a smaller one. They do a larger battery as well. Um, and please just remember that they do um, require the official DC converter for your particular CPAP machine. Um, so in my case, it was a ResMed 90 watt, 12 volt. Uh, charge adapter um, but yeah that's it really it's just to let you all you lovely people know uh, with potential fears or issues or worries about not being able to use your machine whilst you're away from a power source that there is something quite affordable and it comes in this nice little neoprene bag with a belt loop on it um, this is available to you guys uh, and I've used it I used it for a week um, no complaints. I use it when I go to my mother-in-law's. No complaints. Um, just as many cables, but you don't have to have a power source. And of course, in um, in my mother-in-law's house, she's got power. Um, but it means you can also sleep where you want to sleep, not near a plug socket. Because you'll find if sometimes you're near a plug socket, it means you're near a bunch of other electrical stuff, and you're basically sleeping with a TV or with a microwave. So. I could sleep in the in the garden if I wanted to, or in the fridge, just in case you wanted to. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching 12 minute video. Please skip ahead to different points if you fancy it, because this is me just waffling on about a machine. And also guys, there's a reminder from the first uh, CPAP video that I did, or sleep apnea video, if you think you've got um, any symptoms, watch that video, because it explains some symptoms, but, um, if you think you've got some sleep issues, it might not be sleep apnea, but please get to your doctors, your GP. We'll be able to advise you on those things um, and get it sorted because it's not nice. That's me. Peace out.